Alrighty then, hello everyone, <coughs> and welcome to this video. Um, I'm back home as you can probably see from the background. Um, so yeah, I just want to give everybody an update. I am still pretty, uh, pretty weak. I am uh, dizzy. And uh, uh, I'm pretty far out of it, to be honest. But that's due to the medication. And I want to give a little, little bit more background on what happened today. So, but before that, like yesterday, it was my... Uh, my uh, my my nephew's birthday, so I went there. Nothing crazy, no alcohol or anything. It was just a normal birthday, and uh, yeah, I got home today uh, from my brother's nep no from my nephew's birthday, like my 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 brother's child. And, uh, oh man, I'm hot today, I'm hot. Uh, yeah, my apologies, I'm really out of it, it's due to the medication. I, uh, when I got home, I took my medication and uh, I was finally able to, to pass out and get some sleep. So I just woke up, um, groggy or like very slow in the head right now uh, so far no pain yet so I'm currently pain free but I am a very uh, I, yeah I, I'm I'm a potato right now like there's not much going on in my upstairs noggin uh, so, yes, or this morning, uh, I got home at like 1 a.m. from uh, my brother, and then, yeah, got undressed, lay in my bed, nothing was going on, everything was fine, and then suddenly I got with this massive stomach ache, and, uh, yeah, it didn't go that well like I had trouble breathing and I was like in pain a lot of pain it felt like my stomach was exploding and uh, uh, like the pressure in my stomach was building up like significantly uh, like it, it kind of also felt like something was stuck or something I don't know but uh, yeah, I was puking my brains out like nine times and the last couple of times there was so much pressure behind it, it literally like came everywhere. Uh, so I got my phone, opened up the website to, uh, to uh, the uh, first aid responders, so to say, or the, the, uh, the, uh, medical outpost if you have, like you have like a couple of tiers so we have like the the, the doctor's office then we have uh, an office if your doctor is closed like the uh, emergency responders or something like that not not the, uh, the, the, the the hospital itself like oh 112 emergency place now first there's like something in between so you have doctors then the, the, the uh, outpost, and then you got the hospital. So I went to the site of the outpost to fill in a list. It's like, hey, uh, because it's late, the doctor office is closed, obviously. So usually you need to go there then. But you always need to have an appointment or something like that. And yeah, I'm sweating like crazy, like all of the drugs are still not out of my system uh, that they gave me, so... So, after that, uh, I filled in like, hey, where does it hurt, and do you have trouble breathing, uh, and so on and so on. And 
after I filled in a very short list, they were like, uh, call uh, 112, so the emergency number, and get an ambulance. So I did that, and uh, it's basically the first time I called uh, 112, uh, for this matter. Uh, ambulance came, and well, you can still see the, the stuff that they left behind. They, uh, and they asked me to lay down on the couch. They hooked me up with these uh, thingies, and these are the, uh, the 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 seals for it. You know those sensory, excuse me, sensory knobs. And uh, they even uh, installed a, uh, a a thingy on my arm, like uh, one of these things. It's kind of hard to see, but basically uh, to have easy access if they need to draw blood and whatnot. So they draw my blood as well. And uh, they even made a uh, uh, a heart movie, so to say. So they recorded my heart rate and to see if there were any uh, weird stuff. I even had to hold my breath for it so they can record it. And they even uh, like gave me some painkillers through a syringe, and uh, it was, yeah, it, it still hurt after that. So, like, it was a little bit less, but it was kind of bleh, bleh, kind of like what I feel now. So the good stuff. <laughs> uh, they checked my medication that I had and. Uh, yeah, they uh, they loaded me up in the ambulance and uh, we drove to the hospital. I got there, they completely hooked me up to multiple things. They did another, uh, what you call it, another heart movie. And uh, they were pushing on my stomach and I was like, yeah, you can push all you want but it's not increasing the pain it's pure pressure that i'm feeling uh so yeah they were doing everything that they could they uh they gave me some painkillers like some paracetamol or whatever you want to call it uh through a, in a, the, uh, the 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 thingy in my arm so i i still have the thing oh, actually come on give me a second uh, yeah, like I said, I'm slow in the head right now. Uh, so I still have it, but yeah, I'm relatively slow in the head right now. And don't worry, I have pants. Well, not pants, but my underwear on, so you won't. It's fine. So. Uh. So yeah, I went to the hospital, they gave me some stuff. Uh, actually, they gave me quite a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, so I arrived there around 4 a.m. or so. And I've been at the hospital to, I think, 12 or so. But in that time, I haven't slept any, any bit, so I was already very tired. Uh, they also injected me with, uh, uh, yeah, some more painkillers and they also injected me with contrast liquid so they can see stuff better on the pictures. Like the first I had to, you know, those, those, those uh, machines that they usually use to, uh, check if your arm is broken or whatnot, you know, or like uh, if you have breast cancer that you have to stand against uh, uh, against a thingy and you have to hold the handles and like press your chest against the, uh, the, the, the thingy. Uh, they did that, so they took a picture from the front and the side. And then after that, they couldn't find anything specific. And a couple of hours later, they uh, they uh, wanted to have a MRI 
or a CT scan or whatever. I can't remember. They did multiple things. Uh, blood work was fine. Uh, they couldn't find anything that bad, so to say, on my stomach. There was no uh, internal bleeding or something like that. At least they couldn't find anything specific. Uh, so after like they at some point before I went to the CT scan they also injected me with some morphine so that's why I'm a little bit there and I also uh, uh, got some other stuff as well like they pumped me full with a lot of stuff like painkillers more painkillers more painkillers contrast liquid and then final shot was morphine and uh, yeah, after all of that, uh, I got the results from the uh, from the scan, and it's like, yeah, they couldn't find anything. So from what I've told them, and what they could figure out, they uh, they assume or s suspect that I had a massive uh, stomach acid problem. Which means that, uh, oh my god, I'm cooking here. That uh, I, uh, yeah, that I have too much acid in my stomach and that's where the pain was coming from. Like, I, when I was at my brother's place, I ate around between five and six. So that's quite a bit of time and then Oh, hold on, I need to puke. Uh, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm not. I'm still feeling pretty fucked up. What did I do? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna go upstairs and lay down again. Uh, so, I, uh, yeah, I threw out most of the acid bef before I uh, got picked up. Like I said, nine times. Oh my god, my head. <sighs> Give me a second. Alright. So, uh, yeah, the acid. It was very concentrated, very strong, and uh, I had a lot of it. So, from the time that I've eaten, and the time that I was basically throwing, or when I started, there were more than eight hours in between the last time I ate. So my stomach should have been empty, but instead I was completely filled with acid. So. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw the bag on the table, but it's a big bag. I had about, let's see how many boxes. One, two, three, four. I think about five boxes of medication. And, uh, oh, I'm so. Uh, Either this is detoxing or it is still affecting or the drugs that still affecting me. Like I did take uh, the medication, and in a couple of hours, I'll in a couple of hours I'll, I'll take the other. Like I need like uh, uh, two pills basically from each except for one and uh, uh, I also had like, uh, like uh, one of these I'm not sure what it is but yeah one of these anyway that I had to put like in a, in a glass and I had to like mix it and crap like that you know. yeah I got my tea so I have at least something to drink like I made that when I got home and my brother was still here so he could help me out 
I don't want to move that much to be honest uh, so I'm gonna try and get as more sleep as I can right now I'm not in any pain so we, that's good but I am puking my brains out so and that's purely because I'm dizzy from the medication like this shit is uh, is very nasty uh, like this, I think this actually no it shit what time is it uh, yeah it should be running out now so I'm probably detoxing right now yeah uh, but then again I didn't move as much so I think it's still uh, still in my system so yeah anyway uh, got home tried to eat something like a bowl of cereal and uh, I managed to keep that inside but yeah it, uh, it was horrible so like I said, I got like a lot of medication and uh, I, uh, well like I said, they did the tests, blood work was fine, heart, uh, heart looked fine, uh, there were no ruptures or something like that, it was just, uh, yeah, a, a, a shit on of acid that was starting to nibble on, on my, uh, on my stomach wall so like I said I got like multiple shit for it and I got painkillers like the good stuff and uh, yeah they did warn me that I have to be careful with it and uh, we yeah, already knew that uh, what else uh, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, I spent quite some time in the hospital, and it was not fun for me. And I'll probably get a massive bill in a couple of weeks for uh, my own risk, for an example. And that's gonna be the full hit because I went to the hospital. But who the hell was that? I'll, I'll check that later. Anyway. Uh, yeah anyway I'm back home um, like I'm in no pain right now I'm, I'm just very sick from from the medication but that's normal especially with this shit and, uh, I think I got about three shots of morphine or four shot of morphine I can't remember but I am still fucked up from that and I also have some pills all that stuff oh uh, yeah I, I'm, I'm good at least I can get some sleep and uh, yeah, I'll try my best. I have my puke, puke puke bucket here as well and uh, uh, they'll all be fine I think I mean at least I'm in no longer any pain so that's good uh, I'll try to eat some more cereal later because it's the only thing that I managed to keep inside and uh, yeah hopefully I'll be better soon so. uh, oh man I'm so wasted so there you have it and uh, uh, I'll, I'll, if anything changes, I'll try to keep you posted. So, later.